morning everyone snap on tuesday 7 20. Uh, a foggy start today which means the temperature is obviously warming up watch out puss cat uh so we got i think it's an audi a1 today that's having front and rear dash cameras i think we're at f200 pro um try and do a bit more on the party box if we've got time for the triple uh, and we've got um new customer guy who runs a transport company he's got lots of trucks which we've got to sort something on scanners um his son's golf is coming in today and we're doing six by nines kicker six by nines he's got a seven amp we've got a head unit and a fish kit to put in it as well which we're supplying so it's going to be a busy one as always it's been a bit crazy at the minute the work is just flowing having dan is good because it means it frees up me to keep pinging back messages and emails and answering questions that's what's happening when you see me sat down and dan's working it's not that i'm being lazy i'm i'm cracking on with the admin side of business that keeps everything else rolling in the job's coming but we're doing good he is a welcome hand to the business for sure he's learning making a few mistakes but he's learning that's what learning is about um, but we'll get there, he will get there. Soon I'll be able to just point him in a direction and let him go, which is a, which is a good thing. i just got to tighten up that little noose around his neck a bit first. <laughs> but now he's doing all right. He worries a lot, bless him. <clears throat> so we're at five away from the 3K. Um, we've got some prizes and stuff sorted. I know what we're doing, I know what we're giving away. Mobile speed camera zone. Here we go, 30 mile an hour. Um, so we're just waiting for them five more soldiers. We're still at four, 4.9% 4 females, morning ladies. Um, so yeah, it, it, you know, couldn't couldn't be going better. I hope you're enjoying the content. We're, we're cramming out as much content and videos as we can. And I'm trying to keep things Entertaining, speed zone. entertaining as much as possible. Um, the RX-7 that we talked about, um, funnily enough, I know the guy who owns it. Um, lovely lad called Tom. Um, we won't be buying it because he's keeping it. Uh, I didn't know at the time when I knocked on the door and spoke to his missus. Um, but yeah, he knows me from when I had the blue one, the Greddy Rep one. D1 replica uh, and we met up at the unit had a big chat and stuff and he was out in the in the black RX-7 so we won't be buying that one so I'm still on the look which is yeah the prices of them are just ridiculous they're 20 30 grand for a standard unmaintained one um, 30 40 50 upwards for a nice modded or looked after type a um spirit R. there's there's a few out there but they they are big big money and i don't really it's difficult i don't really want to drop that kind of money on a car just yet there's a lot of money to to chuck and obviously if the market suddenly crashes you've you've got a very very expensive car um and it's yeah it's one of those <clears throat> they are old cars they are classics i get that but i don't i having having had two of them i just can't bring myself to kind of blow that much money on one um so yeah i'm in a bit of a quandary with it really i don't know what to do as far as buying one and you know modding it goes um i don't know what jody's got on today whether we've got new flyer or same flyer we'll have to see what comes in um, we've had a couple more tools go missing, um, including a 70 pound torch. I think it's 70 quid, it might be more. Um, that has somehow been left in a vehicle. Um, so we've got to probably buy another one today. <laughs> it's not damaging cars, he's just leaving my tools in cars. <laughs> 
that's what I mean about the comment with, with the noose around his neck. Yeah. Anyway, off to the shop, get some breakfast. I'll see you in a bit, everyone. Five more, come on. Get it, get it done. Morning, everyone. Right, we got our first couple in. Um, Dan is just taking care of the dash camera on the Audi A1, um, which is nearly finished. I've Sorry, just... everyone, we haven't filmed anything this morning. We just got in and started doing stuff. I don't know what the fuck I've just stood in, but that's minging. Oh, sorry, I did a little pee earlier. Good. Um, and I've got this Golf, um, which unfortunately the gentleman said to me was a Mark V. Six. Six. This is not. This is a Mark VII. Um, this fascia currently is discontinued. They're not messing with this car anymore. So Muggins here is still taking the job on, and I've already cut the dash out. I have a spare fascia from one of these, which I am now modifying to make fit a 160 run some cables change the wiring harness yeah see that's not fair you can't call yourself muggings because it wasn't your fault you took it on it's going to be a problem so this is what i'm playing with currently wish me luck out comes the plastic world bye Right people, so, a bit of an update on the Golf. Alex is currently building the fascia over there with the fiberglass and all the other bits, which he's absolutely loving. Um, I, on the other hand, have finished up the Audi A1 for the front and rear dash cameras, and I am getting on with the Golf for the sub and amp wiring. So we've pulled the seat out, so we can get all the access to the cabling, so we can run all the signal cables and stuff down the center, so it's out the way of the power. In the process, we've taken the rear seat out and found it's quite damp and then found, hang on, let me get my torch, in the corners there is soaking wet full of water. So we were like, oh, okay, so we need to pull the boot apart. So we pull the boot apart and um, well, it doesn't do it any justice on the camera, but you've got, yeah, you've got an, an inch of water there. <coughs> Fucking swimming pool in the back of his car. <laughs> so we're gonna, 
punch a hole in the boot of his car so that it'll piss all the water out the bottom. And maybe. Not punching a hole, we're knocking a grommet out. Ah. Well, see, at least it'll see stop the, it from. Yeah, see yeah, yeah. The grommet. It'll stop it from filling up the water. Yeah. As much. Shh. <laughs> ah, the tinkling on the workshop. Beautiful. Yay! So we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Jody, We've got no Jody today. Jody not no Jody today, he's ill, so we've had a text from him to say he's not, uh, not coming by today, but um, we'll catch up with you soon. Fab day instead. Hey? Fab day instead. Fab day instead. We'll see you soon. Right then everyone, here we go. So the fascia is just about made. Plastic welded at the back. Totally inspired from sound man. Cheers Doug. Um, <laughs> but yes, so we've got a single, sorry, a double din fitting in the middle. Fiberglassed all the edges, so the excess is gone. I'm just about to give it another coat because I had to wet flat two little areas um, and give it a thousand grit wet and dry. So I'm just going to give it another coat of black uh, and hopefully that should be it. We have got the wrong lead for the car. I was hoping on a 15.2, but this year and age, because it's the newer version, it's the 18.2. So we're going to get the lead tomorrow. Um, but Dan's on his way, putting the car back together, getting all the other stuff done. But the dash cut's done. This is ready. Uh, yeah, turned my end to something different today. It's not often I get to cut up faces. Which is kind of cool, but we'll come back to you in a bit. It's a long way to go yet. See you soon. Take the blowtorch upstairs. That's probably a spider. Okay. Yeah, burn it. You get to it out the window upstairs. Right then, everyone. We're uh, just setting off for today. So we got our fascia made, all blacked, and that's what we started with. So some rather cool work today. Not what we usually do. I've ordered a lead for this. This thing is now having a sleepover because the lead has not come in time. Um, Amp and stuff is just about round cables already. We've got six by nines to put in the rear shelf. Sub to rewire because I'm not sure what's going on with these terminals. They look a bit wet and corroded. Um, we've got the water out of the car. We've dried it out. So we're pretty much building it back together tomorrow, putting the amp stuff in, tracker, head unit, all of the ancillaries are run. Fix the sub, cut the six by nines, job done. We didn't have snap on Tuesday today because Jody is ill. We've got the Audi done, the A1, that had its dash cameras. Um, tomorrow, we could have a focus in. He's gonna let me know if he can make it. He's got a, a side of the car that's power's gone. So no windows, no locking. So could be a rubber grommet issue, could be a connection, could be water, could be a module. Uh, we've got a parking sensor issue with a Santa Fe for the car salespeople down the road. We've got to have a look at that for them. And then we'll finish this. So all in all, quite a busy day. Enjoying the content, I hope you are. Dan's just, we've got something weird come up on the security camera, look. Look at this big black fuzz. What the hell is that? That shouldn't be there. <laughs> what is it, Dan? It's not even up, it's, I'm, I'm not, you're on like the wrong camera. Number two. Yeah, top right in the corner. Yeah. All right, I'll get a pole out, we'll have a look at it, see what's yeah. going on with that. Something's died on it. Right, we'll see you in a bit, everyone.